what's up guys hello i'm in kebarichi village you can see it's the same the environment here yeah it's the same if you don't know this area or like in kisi if you don't know where you're going you might get lost because the place looks exactly the same if you are coming maybe for the third for the third time that's when you maybe get to know around these places you can see just the same and very green beautiful even the rooster breeze here yeah. you can see So I'm just from the tea binding center, that's where we collect our tea leaves salary for those who have registered and we collect them monthly. It depends on the size you have. If you do tea farming in Kisi or in Kericho or anywhere, any part of the country, you can see this. It depends on how big your farm is. If you have so many tea leaves or a big farm with many acres, you can get even 100k. So it's, it's really good in investing. Even me, I've tried to do the ones that I told you about, like uh, planting herbs, but they don't have a lot here. So maybe I. By God's, God's grace, I buy land that has tea in the meantime, which is very good. I've seen the money is good. <laughs> People are really excited when you see their faces. So, yeah. And it really also takes kids to school. At the end of um, the year, they get bonuses. It, not in the year. After six months, like June, July, Apple you get the bonus and it's really good money guys so if you're planning on investing or you're not ready to buy la you're not ready to do what you're not ready to build you can buy land that has tea and then you can be collecting the late you can be picking the tea leaves yeah that's another thing you can do here in the village that's also a good thing you can also lease land for and plant maybe tapia grass or sugar cane things like that so if you're planning to come to Kisi or you're planning to go to the countryside what i've noticed is that or tree plant tree planting you can see a lot of trees if you're not around you can also plant trees you can do tea farming and if you get someone who is really reliable, casual labor, who is really reliable, loyal, and very honest, you'll get quite a lot of money coming from this. Most people here, most people here get it. Most people here in the rural, or you can call it the countryside, some call it the offside, off grid. Yeah. So, yeah, you can do such things. As I was saying, like those things I wanted to, like I was saying, those things I wanted to plant, most people here, I don't think if they buy a lot, because in the market, our village market here near, the nearest here, I don't see them quite a lot, but when you go to town, that's where you find them. But it's better maybe, hey, something I've seen maybe the, the ones that I've mentioned, but it's one step at a time, guys. You can't rush these things. <coughs> so, guys, let me now go and quench my thirst. I'm really thirsty. I didn't carry my water because I knew it's yeah, the river. You can see. 
The goodness is here. Water is free. So as happiness. If you want to be happy, be free. Imagine if you go to for a week. You bought some. So this is the life living off grid. We don't fetch our water here. There is another river over there. I guess people now bathe around here. The people from this village. I guess I told you things about this. It really rained yesterday. Can see mud everywhere. I should have invested. <laughs> He's buying boots. I think I should. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you forget yourself. Mostly for those people <laughs> who understand me. Like mothers, you can forget yourself. The four years I've lived here, I've never ever thought of buying boots. But my mom, my son, both of them have. <laughs> I should invest in one, guys. How do you see my environment? Very nice. Good for hiking. Yeah. So you'll find in most rivers, we call it Roche here, there are a lot of trees. And this one's this is my young man. It's pretty good. Maybe last time you can see the I forgot and got lost. So, guys, for those who think that <coughs> it is easy picking this tea and maintaining you are wrong because the very nice tea you can see it depends with the quality so you have to take good care there is fertilizer the government gives you that you pay uh, it's around 2000 It was 2,500 but the farmers complained it was too much for them so it went to wow don't mind me I'm climbing a small hill here so you have to put the fertilizer manure it has to be picked after every week uh, I might acquire or it will go, it will not, they will throw it away if it's bad. So there are also losses there. This one has already speaked about this. Many people have. This is a off grid tissue. <laughs> this is what we use to wipe. After your long call, I've drunk the water now, baby. I'm pressed. You can also have napia grass. These are the napia grass. Yeah. Food for the cow, and it's the best when you are milking. You milk your cow. And you can see over there, there's banana plantation. So there are a lot of things. If you really, really are into farming, these are the things that people buy here in the countryside. Most people, those who have 
cows, um, bananas every day people are buying and taking them to the market. So yeah, these are the things. And in, in the city they are very expensive, but here it's quite cheap. The owner of this place, he has cows, so he has planted the napier grass for the cows, so it doesn't have to be expensive for him or her. So guys, that's it for today's video. I've shared a little that I know. So those are the things that I've learned here in my village that most people do and they go. They do pretty well. So you can share in the comment section down below what other things you want that I've not mentioned and they do well in the village.